Hello and welcome to this live Haas tip of the day. Now I'm at the VF2 SSYT uh, machine here in the Haas IMTS booth, IMTS 2016. And right now, this moment, we're showing off through spindle coolant, right? TSC. So I'm a machinist, but I will say it all day long. I would want two options for sure on every machine I buy, right? I want TSC, through spindle coolant, and I want probing for me personally. It makes my life easier as a machinist, right? Unless you're doing like half inch thick plates all day long, and that's all you ever do, I want through spindle coolant because I can um, take all the guesswork out of my drilling, right? You never have a chance of breaking the drill like you did before. Uh, drills just like it. So I am told that we've got a block of material loaded in the machine. We've got a program loaded here, and I'm going to hit cycle start. It's coming in, it's doing a tool change for me. Okay, so this is a regular uh, spot drill, it's a center drill actually on this one. The old way of doing things, we'd come in with a spot drill, and then we'd come in with a regular high speed twist drill, right? So this twist drill is going to be drilling down to minus 1.9 inches. It's just going a little more than 3,000 RPMs. 15 thou per rev. So that's a pretty standard hole. It came in, and actually it was, a, it was a pretty good program, right? I can see from the code that he's not using a Q value, right? Q value sets a certain peck distance, and it goes that same distance each and every time. With this drill, they were using an IJK value, which means here's how far I want it to go for the first peck, maybe 3 quarter inch, half inch, and then reduce my peck by the, this amount, my J value, each and every time until I get to that minimum peck value. So if you're using a high speed drill, ditch the Q value, go to your Haas manual under G83, and look up the IJK. Your programs will run a little bit faster, right? They'll take fewer pecks, you know, and still get you where you need to go. But there's even a better way. I'm gonna hit cycle start again. This is switching to a through spindle coolant carbide drill, right? This is what you guys should be running on your machines today. Watch this. Can you guys see this? I drilled one hole with the high-speed steel drill, right, with pecs, and it was a good pec, right, IJK pec. Now we're ripping through this part with a TSC drill at 12,000 RPMs, the same 15,000 uh, inch per revolution, about 180 inches per minute. Uh, you guys could barely see that, right? But it drilled seven holes compared to one hole with that high-speed steel uh, drill bit. Now, switching to carbide would have allowed us to go faster RPM anyhow, right? Carbide can allow you to go super fast. But still, you can't just run a carbide drill straight to the bottom of a hole. You need the through spindle coolant to get the most out of those carbide tools. Now, now me as a machinist, I can see right away I can go faster, right? Seven to one by switching to a machine with through spindle coolant. So depending on your part, check out TSC. That's it. Thanks for watching this Haas awesome Live Tip of the Day.